Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Pal. Out here uh, today on the terrace, just wanted to show you guys the overwintered pepper from forever and a day ago. I just realized that this pepper plant has been alive now for five years this summer, uh, is when it got planted out. So uh, pretty crazy. And we've been harvesting peppers off of this ever since that first uh, summer. It's been really crazy. It grew it from seed. Uh, did a video. I've done a couple of videos about this um, plant now. You can check out the other ones. I'll link them in the description. But uh, I got it from the seeds of this little decorative chili plant that I got from my mother a long time ago. Um, I think it was, yeah, it was, must have been six years ago. And I tried to overwinter that pepper plant and I failed. And then uh, I took the seeds from one of those chilies that I had dried out and I grew a bunch of um, plants. This is the only one that's still alive since then. And uh, you can see it's still got a bunch of nice little ripe peppers on it. We harvest peppers off of this thing pretty much year round. And uh, we keep it just in a windowsill outside, or sorry, inside, <laughs> inside. And, uh, and it just keeps making um, awesome, nice little spicy chilies for us. So uh, I just wanted to show it to you guys because I just did the update on the exotic plants. Um, and uh, you know, I did that video and I was thinking about it afterward that like, really you know it's it's fun and and cool to grow these uh exotic plants and it's kind of an exciting experiment for me the way i kind of look at it but obviously like i want to get to the point that i'm growing more and more of our own food and um one of the things that it, it makes a lot more sense to just grow stuff that's actually giving you food and that is kind of like more appropriate to your climate so um you know in that spirit one of the things i'm going to be doing in the next uh you know few days hopefully is uh, I've got a bunch of these chilies dried out. I'm gonna take some of the seeds and start up some new ones. And then we can just have, you know, maybe another handful of these kind of spread out through the house for the winter. And uh, lately, Mrs. CO has been really enjoying the little peppers as well. So, um, you know, like my daughter eats them sometimes and uh, I eat them fairly regularly. And uh, it would just be nice to have more of these plants uh, doing well in the house. So, yeah, it just brings a little bit of joy in the winter as well, which is kind of cool. So you can see there's quite a few nice ones here. Just a nice little flower on it still. Looks pretty nice. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, definitely recommend uh, this to anybody. If you have some nice little uh, spicy chilies, you can grow these in a small container and uh, they do pretty well and they survive years. <laughs> um, this one, I think, looks like it could really use some refreshing. I gotta maybe give it some new soil. It's kind of washed out of the center there. Um, maybe top it off with a little bit of fresh mulch as well. But uh, we'll see how long it can keep going. Uh, this summer's, like I say, the fifth year. It's pretty crazy. All right, guys, uh, that's it for today's video. If you're growing any uh, chilies indoors, let me know. I'd love to see your results and uh, see you in another video soon. Bye.